Hi. Hi, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Happy Friday, everybody. So, I'm running a little late. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't forget this time. I didn't leave y'all hanging. I'm here. How's it going, everybody? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, there they come, there they come. So, happy Friday. It's payday, it's payday, it's payday, it's payday. How's it going, everybody? Is it a good day? I hope it's a good day, y'all. It's payday. First payday of the year, yes. Did you get some coin today? Did y'all uh, go get get to the bag like I've been posting all over my, all over my Facebook? Yay! Good, good, good. So, hey, hey, everybody. Queen Adora. I like that name. So, Mr. Veronica. Hey, hey, hey. One of my little sugar babies. Hey, y'all. Simone. Mm-hmm. Little Miss. South Africa. Deacon. Hello from South Africa. Hey, hey, hey. Wow. Thank you, thank you. So, uh-uh. In the, the other one. So, okay. Thank you, thank you for that. The topic for today is from the Netherlands. Wow, we international. No, um, so the topic for today, it well, I guess before we get into the San Diego with the money, um, the topic for today is the common denominator. That's our topic. But before we talk about the topic, let's get into today's look. Um, this is the Morphe 3502 palette for the eyes. And then the lip is Cinnamon Bear by Melted, uh, what is this? Too Faced Melted Matte. So that's it. And then this, my little dress is a little um little boho chic dress from by um from Maryland somebody from Maryland in the house um what is, where is this dress from free people free people is the name of the um maker of the dress or whatever so that's the look for today we got that out the way now today's topic is the common denominator and um, put a, a little top or something over it so it can, um, the common denominator. And as you all know, um, this is like a math term, I guess you can say. Um, I don't know what kind of math. I wasn't very um, <clears throat> versed in math when I was in school. Math was not my um, favorite subject. So, um, I know it's some kind of form of math. I don't know if it's, uh, thank you, B. I don't know if it's um, geometry or something, I don't, algebra, whatever. It's some math, right? And the common denominator means that these two fractions <coughs> have something in common. Excuse me, Deacon is getting my tea, <coughs> but he's taking a little long. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, these two things have something in common. And I titled it this way because a lot of ladies are, um, a lot of ladies are stuck. Some of you are involved in a relationship that has the appearance of all of your other relationships. This relationship that you're in looks exactly like your last relationship. This um, job that you're in, you're having the same issues on this job that you have, you haven't, no Mia, you haven't missed anything. You're having the same issues on this job that you're having on every other job. You are, um, your friends, you cut one friend off only to discover that um, the next person is treating you the same exact way. You uh, basically recreate circumstances in your life. Just 
same thing, different day, you know? Um, you can't understand why, like, okay, this person cheated on me, this person cheated on me, but um, you can't figure out why. Why is it? Why is this? Why does the same thing keep happening over and over and over and over and over again? Guess what? I'm gonna tell you. It is because you are the common denominator. You are. There are so many man-hating, man-bashing, oh, black men are evil. Black men are cheap. Oh, I can, all, my, all my POTs treat me like this. Every time I get a new job, it's always somebody want to fight me. Whenever I move into some apartments, my neighbors is always the loudest. I can't never go nowhere without somebody doing this. Well, I'm gonna um, offer that uh, you are the common denominator in all of those situations. If you are stuck in bad relationships, oh, y'all got bags under my eyes today. Let me just point that out. Pastor has bags under her eyes. I've been up working to get the information. Let's just say that. Um, but yeah, I do have, I'm noticing. Oops, got bags today. Anyway, um, you're the common denominator. You are. If you keep attracting men who are abusive to you, you are the common denominator. If you are um, attracting people who are abusive to you, you are the common denominator. If you are attracting dead-end jobs, you are the common denominator. If you're finding that you can't find anything good in your life, then you are the common denominator. You have to realize that. You are. In every single situation, every single, every aspect of your life, you are the common denominator. There is no way, you're right about that, Miss uh, Tanika, there is no way there's no way that the same thing can keep happening to you over and over and over again. And everybody else is crazy but you. Everybody in the world is so crazy but you. Nobody else is crazy. Just only, just, I mean, everybody else is crazy except you. Um... That's a problem. That's a problem. A lot of people find it easy um, to do this. Well, she won't treat me right. He always cussing me out. Why is my man always cheating? He's always doing this. But you are the common denominator. Either it's something in your energy that is making you attracted. Either it's something in the way you're speaking to people that is making those types of people drawn to you. There's something in you that is making all of these things happen. Now, let's take the flip side of that. There, like I said, there are so many men hating, especially black men hating women on my newsfeed. It's insane. It's insane. Black men ain't gonna, mm -mm, a black man ain't gonna never do da -da 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 for you, and a black man won't never this, and a black man won't never that. And I find myself, um, sometimes coming to the defense because like I said in another video, women control the dynamic in every relationship. So if you're in a bad relationship, it's because you've created it. If you are in a good relationship, it's because you've created it. A man will only do, um, what you allow him to do. He won't if you don't look like Shira. What does that mean, K6? He, a man will only do what you allow him to do. If you allow a man to cheat on you, he's going to do it. If you allow a man to slap you and bite you and spit on you and uh, force you to do things you don't want to do, drag you by your hair, cuss your mama out, 
uh, drive your car with other women in while you at work. If you allow a man to do these things, it's because you allow him to do it. So it's not that, um, it's not that all men are dogs. Oh, hey, Miss Maya. Uh oh, international money, international money. International money. Thank you, Miss Maya. Um, but yes, it's not that you keep attracting the same types of people. It's that you're the same type of person. You haven't changed. When you change, your whole environment will change. A lot of people are afraid to change because they don't want to lose the people that they have in their current life. But you have to understand that if you want better, you're going to have to create that. You're going to have to be better. If you don't want to continue attracting dusty men, you have to stop being a dusty woman. If you don't want to keep attracting men who are abusive, you have to stop being weak. You have to stand up for yourself. Eventually, you have to say, okay, this is my life. This is my life. I am in control of every single aspect of it. When you stop, oh, please, please bless me with, with a good man. I just want a man that's going to take care of me. And I'm just so sick and tired of going to McDonald's on my dates, Lord. And please, please just send him, Lord. Just send him. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Ooh, 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 I'm waiting. I'm such a good woman. I'll cook. I'll clean. I'll let him drive my car. I'll take him wherever he want to go. I'll play trampoline three times a day. I'll do whatever he want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just want him, Lord. Ooh. Send him, Jesus. Send him. When you stop sitting there waiting, when you start saying, okay, this is what's acceptable. This is what is not acceptable. I will not allow somebody to yell at me. I will not allow somebody to knowingly game me. Y'all know the game. Y'all know the game. I have done over a hundred videos at this point. Y'all know the game. Y'all know all the little lines and all the little stuff he gonna say and you have this thing inside of you. Like I said, woman's intuition, it never lies. When you decide to go against that, when you decide to say, no, mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm being emotional. I'm, I shouldn't judge him too harshly. I shouldn't uh, be too high maintenance. I don't want him to think I'm this. I don't want them to think I'm this way. Once you start allowing those thoughts to um, fester and live inside of your head, your standards go from way up here. A lot of the ladies, man, let me tell you, whoo, it's, it's a whole bunch of ladies that been gung-ho in the group, in the group, and already fell off. Day four of the new year already fell off, already. Now, Ain't, ain't, nothing, um, ain't nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with falling off. But dang, how is it that so many people didn't already fell off? Y'all know the game. I give you the game every time. Every time you, uh, every time y'all come in the group. There's a bunch of different videos I've already done. There's a bunch of different um, books in there that you can read, but there's about 20. Oh, y'all, I done made a mistake. Oh, y'all, I slipped up. But you don't have to. The common denominator is you. It's you. And I know that's a little tough. I know that's a little, you know, but it's the truth. At the end of the day, it's the truth. And, oh, Miss, how, how to, Miss Diamond Empress, she says, um, oh, somebody says, how do you train? Oh, y'all, I got a bunch of questions. Okay, so Miss Diamond Empress says, so true, I had to learn that. I was the common denominator of dusty men, and I realized I had to change as a person, so I won't attract those kinds of men. Yes, ma'am, Miss Diamond Empress. For sure, 100%. For sure, you have to change who you are so that you won't continue to do the same things and you won't continue to attract the same sorts of people. 
Now, somebody says, how do you train them? You don't really train a man. Men aren't like puppies. They're not like something you, you know, can train. But you, you can treat yourself a certain way. And when you treat yourself a certain way, he can't help but to treat you the same way that you're treating him. It, it just has to match up, you know. Um, if you want information about the group, send me a message on Facebook and I can um, help you with initiation, I guess you'd call it, into our paid Facebook group. But, um, but yeah, so you have to, you have to reckon how to figure out his fantasy type of woman. Listen, ask him about his past relationships. Ask him, cause you know, the, the age old question, well, why are you single? Ask him why he's single. And he'll say, oh, my ex was a blah, 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 blah. And you could even ask him, what's your fantasy? That's something easy. You know, they'll be gladly tell you that. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Um, and yes, here's another thing, Miss Simone. You don't need to train a man to treat you right. Either he treats you right or he doesn't. It's up to you to accept or reject the treatment that you're receiving. If you allow people to treat you a certain way, then he will. And that's not, you cannot say, Oh, I hate all men. All black men are stupid. All black men are blah, blah, blah. You know, you can't say that because first of all, you haven't dated all black men and all men, period. You haven't done that. But the common denominator is you. How are all men crazy? All men are dogs. So every single man, in, ain't no good men ever, 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 ever? No, that's not true. There are no good men that are attracted to you because you entertain the ones that treat you poorly. When you entertain the ones who treat you poorly, that's all you're gonna see. You might have a few good men in your life, but oh no, he's ugly. Oh no, Mickey, I can't be with him. He doesn't, he's too clingy. Whole bunch of that. Oh girl, I had to let my sugar daddy go because he was just getting too clinky and he was getting on my nerves. How is that? People get on your nerves if you have to go to a job, but you gladly do that. This All this person is doing is, you know, wanting some of your time, wanting some attention, and you don't want to do that. Why? Y'all have to think, y'all have to start thinking differently. And a lot of people say, well, Mickey, I want a sugar day. I want this lifestyle. And the way that I am, the things that I talk about on this channel is not really a lifestyle. That's the first thing that you need to get over as far as mentality. The way I am is not a lifestyle. It's not. It's just the way that I am. I expect exemplary treatment. I'm a woman. I'm going to act like a woman. And you're a man and you're going to act like a man. Period. That's all it is. It's not a lifestyle necessarily. I, the lifestyle, I guess, is when you incorporate dating only wealthy men. I guess, I guess that's the lifestyle, where the lifestyle comes in. But I don't think that the way I am is a lifestyle. I don't. Um, how do you apply this when you're married? You can't. If you signed up to be Barbara the Builder in your marriage, you can't really undo that. You can't really be spoiled and expect to be spoiled if you've already created the dynamic not to be that. If you're married, you've basically said, I'm going to take what I have, sign on the dotted line, this is what I got. You can't change it in the middle. How are you going to change it in the middle? I tried to do that. <laughs> and it worked, but it wasn't something um, that... It wasn't received well. I'll just say that. It wasn't received well. So if you want to be um, treated well, you're going to have to, um, some people are saying start over. I, you know, I don't know. But um, I, I would say that it's hard because he already signed up for whatever he signed up for, you know. So that, that one's going to be kind of hard. When I go freestyling, it is older ladies approach me and tell you that you're beautiful. Why? 
um, because you may look pretty. Um, I don't know. I don't understand what you mean by that. That's a good thing. If people approach you and tell you that you look pretty, that's good. Um, somebody says they had have bad teeth and they can't uh, afford to fix them. How can how can you freestyle when you can't even smile or laugh? You can. There are a lot of people um, in the world that smile and laugh with jacked up teeth. It's all about your confidence. You know, there's, you know, women who are larger and they, you know, have more confidence than somebody who is, um, you know, smaller. So it all depends on your confidence level. You can certainly go out without having perfect teeth. It, it's, it makes you look even worse when you're sitting up talking like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's worse than if you just smile a smile is genuine a smile is something that you're saying I'm enjoying myself I'm enjoying the ambiance and the whatever is going on so that's going to be received differently um, as opposed to somebody who's like you know what I mean so everybody has some sort of thing that they're like oh I really don't know um, you know if they'll receive this or receive that so I, i'm just going to be self-conscious everybody has that thing that's self-conscious about them but when you embrace it then other people will embrace it you see this right here see these dark circles and bags under my eyes since i had to rush and do my makeup today i um that's why i went ahead and said look i got bags under my eyes today so nobody you know won't be like oh girl are you tired you look sleepy what happened to you just Look, I got f***ed up teeth. <laughs> Just call it out. Just call it out and say, hey, look, my teeth are messed up. I know my teeth messed up, but I like to smile. Smiling makes me feel happy. When you smile, other people smile, you know? So it is what it is, you know? Um, and you never know. Your circumstances might change once you um, embrace it, you know? Um... Somebody said Cardi B bagged Offset. Let's not use Cardi B in this example because Offset may not be the exact target that we're looking for. But there you go. I'm um, just saying. Um, okay, so Miss NF, NFKLF says how to be respected. How to be respected. Um, see, and that's a thing... Um, that's kind of a hard thing to answer because how can you not be respected? You, when you respect yourself, then other people will respect you. You know, I mean, that's just hard for me to, to answer because I don't, I can't um, understand how people allow disrespect. When you are respectful of yourself and your boundaries, then other people are forced to do that. You don't lower um, your standards at all for anyone. Good question, Mo. Good question. Um, have you had more success with online sites or freestyling? I don't do any online dating at all. Miss Tristan, none at all. Um, yeah, there you go. Hold yourself to high standards and others will follow. Exactly. Exactly. Is it okay to dress modest if you are still feminine and keep high standards? I mean, you can dress however you want to dress. Um, I think modesty is uh, relative, you know, um, but you can dress however you want to dress. If it's helping you to get what you want, continue doing that. If it's not helping you to get what you want, then you um, need to switch it up. How to build a bond on in the very first date without looking like we are into the much into the much uh i don't know what the much is or into it too much maybe you're saying um <clears throat> you can come up with a little pet name for him you can sit beside him you can talk about his interests um you can ask him so tell me one of your biggest secrets you know um just be engaging just be uh, talkative. It doesn't matter if you're into him too much. That's what you want him to think. Make sure that you want that he thinks that, but you don't necessarily do that. Don't be into him too much on the first date, but it's okay to make him think that you are into him too much. I think so. Um, 
Yeah. What do you think about Tinder and seeking arrangements? Um, I already asked, I already answered that. I don't do any online dating. Um, right. Why do you want to dress like you're in the Middle East? Maybe they are. Maybe they are, Miss Jayla. A lot of people are in the Middle East. Um, yeah. So, Mickey, do you get emotional sometimes or sensitive? If yes, how to keep yourself strong at all all times? Not on dates. Never on a date, ever. Um, but do I get emotional, like, in general? Yeah, yeah. Um, I keep myself strong because I don't have, there's no other options, you know, if you're talking about personally, you know. Um, I don't have a, a reason to not be strong, you know. I'm raising some men around here, so I got to be strong. But on a date? Heck no. For what? No. There's no place for a date. Um, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Who is this giving phone numbers? No, ma'am. <laughs> Y'all giving phone numbers? Come on now. Don't do that. Um... If y'all want to talk to each other, then y'all need to instant message each other. But I don't, I don't normally, um, I don't normally get emotional on dates, no. Only when I need it. Only when I need it. Um, would I recommend dating a drug dealer? So y'all just must think I'm the dope boy princess. <laughs> Every time we get on here, somebody wants to know about drug dealers and weed smokers. <laughs> Yay! Another drug dealer question. Ooh, ooh. I'm the drug dealer princess. Ooh, ooh. I'm the drug dealer princess. Ooh, ooh. Um, I can't really give you illegal advice because this is a worldwide channel. So I really won't be able to give you advice on things that are illegal on my channel. Thanks for not asking that again. Okay. Um, when hinting for money doesn't work with a target, is it then time to move to the next one? Or would you say every target is a potential to give up the cash? I think I'm reading that right. Um, First of all, you don't hint. I don't hint to, around to giving the money. I um, have a scenario that I tell him about. If I tell him about the scenario, then if he's wealthy enough, most likely he's going to give me the money. But I've already formed the relationship. He already feels like he wants to be with me. There's already some sort of, um, you know, bond that has been built. So um, I create the scenarios, yes. If you don't hear from him before five days since you have set a date, you set a date and he never did uh, call you back, um, then he's probably moved on. What does it mean when a man says, don't look for me ever? Does that mean he feels nothing for you? If a man says, don't, let me make sure I'm reading this right. Don't look for me ever. Does that mean he feels nothing for you? Uh, it means, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe it means he's never going to call you back. You know, was he angry when he said that? Um, what feeling or vibe did you get from him? Look at me not getting emotional. <laughs> Look at me not being reactionary. Yeah, look who's growing. Look who's growing in the 2019. I'm not going off on people no more. <laughs> I'm embracing the dumb questions. Yes. One time for my growth. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Let me see if I can see them. Okay, several men give me the same comment. I like your shoes. What does that mean? What does that mean? Um, I like, he probably just kind of likes your shoes. Maybe he thinks your shoes are, are great. Um, I mean, that's nice. Maybe he 
is paying attention to. <sighs> maybe he's just paying. Maybe he's just. Uh, maybe he's just paying attention to stuff. Uh, I I don't I don't know. I mean, what do you think of the dandies? Oh, I don't know. Um, I'm not a dandy, so I only paid attention to my uh, my personal. I think I'm the natural, I believe. But that book was just way too much. It was way too long, so I just skipped to the parts that I that pertain to me. So I don't really know about the dandy. I didn't like memorize it or anything like that. So I'm not exactly sure. Um, if it works for you, great. You know, some people are, um, there's several different types of seductresses. So, you know, get in where you fit in, whichever one works for you. Um, <laughs> should a lady have to state her standards? No, you never state your standards. Please, ladies, please, please, please. Don't ever tell somebody what your standards are. Don't do that. Do not do that. Don't say, um, you know, I expect to be treated like a queen. I expect that you're going to take me out every night. I want flowers on Thursdays. I want you to uh, call my mama on Mother's Day and tell her Happy Mother's Day. I want you to take me to Victoria's Secret because I need some new underwears. I want you to pay attention to my when I get my hair done, when I do it differently. I want you to get my nails done. Don't tell me because guess what you're doing? You're giving him the playbook. And he is going to do exactly what you tell him your standards are until he gets the PP. Once he gets the PP, then he's never going to do any of those things ever again. And you probably won't hear from him. That's just like giving the opposing team your playbook. Here's my playbook. Now beat me. Don't do that. Because when you do that, um, you'll most likely end up losing. So there you go. I want to get a target to pay for my boobs. What's a good scenario to make up after the connection with him has been made? Don't tell him you're going to get breast implants. Listen, <clears throat> men are very logical. Men are very logical. He knows that there is a 99% chance that he's not going to marry you. He's not going to be with you long term. So if he doesn't have money to just blow and, you know, fart out of his butt every five minutes, he's not going to give you money for a boob job. You cannot say, can you buy me some boobies? They make me so insecure and it would help me to, to give you this good old love and I got. That's not going to work on most men because most men don't care about your boobs. You know what they're going to do if you got saggy little stinky boobies? He's going to flip you over so he ain't got to look at them little raisins and he's going to get to getting it on the trampoline. That's a minute thing. So to ask a man for a boob job is basically asking for him, basically telling him, hey, I'm a gold digger. I want big boobies so other guys can look at them. So he's going to be like, no. Not going to do it. You get something that equals the boob job. If your boob job costs $10,000, you know what you do? You come up with five scenarios at $2,000 a piece. You talk to Jim, Jack, John, Jonathan, and um, Manuel. And you tell them each the same exact thing. And you get 2,000 and 2,000 and 2,000 and 2,000 and 2,000. And guess what? You got a boob job. Do I date men in their 20s? <laughs> Do I date men in their 20s? Uh-uh. My breast milk is gone. I have no more breast milk. A man in his 20s? No, ma'am. Mm -mm. How do you suggest... Revealing your true age and occupation. Tristan, you never do that. You never do that. You don't reveal your true anything to a man ever. Men are not going to reveal their true anything to you. So you make sure you lie first and always. Continue lying. You lie from the time he meets you till he leaves you alone or you leave him alone. Whichever comes first. But you never reveal your true anything to a man. There you go. 
How do I ask for a larger amount of money after an initial amount has been agreed upon? I don't have initial amounts. Think about it. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I had to go to my happy place right quick. Um, I don't have um, arrangements. I don't ask for allowances because I'm not a child. I'm an adult. I'm a baby, but I'm a sugar baby, right? I'm not his real baby. I'm not his 12-year-old like, daddy, daddy, can I have my allowance? Think about it. If you agree to $1,200 a month, do you think he's going to say, uh-uh, oh, oh. nope, no, nope. no, ma'am. I will not give you $1,200 a month. I need to give you $7,000 a month. Who does that? That's like going to Walmart, looking at some batteries that are $5.99 and saying, nope, uh-uh, I refuse to pay $5.99. I want to pay $35 for these. Nobody does that. When you set your price at a certain amount, that's all you're going to get. I'm not agreeing to no set amount. I'm not agreeing to nothing. I want my money. If I need $8,000 tomorrow, uh, I'm not going to be able to, um, to, you know, I'm not going to be able to ask him for more because I've already set my standards. Low, so don't do that. Um, what if he says you're too guarded? Then you may be. You need to loosen up. Stop trying to be, you know, church girl or whatever. Do I believe in friendships between men and women? Church, what do I think about that? I did a video. It's called You've Got a Friend. I did a whole video on this. Um, I don't believe men and women are uh, able to have friends. Mmm. Y'all like my tea, my little foxy tea cup? Oh, you've seen her before. My um my friend got me a whole bunch of tea so I can sip it on my channel. Isn't it cute? Okay. But don't you have to uh oh, she said, what? But don't you have to Constantly ask for money if there is no arrangement. Nope, because after a while you ask for so much money that um, That he's eventually just gonna be like oh, forget it here. You're my girlfriend now So I have to take care of you once you've reached the girlfriend status You don't have to constantly ask for money because it's natural to take care of your girlfriend, right? Didn't y'all hear Nick Cannon? Nick told y'all if you with me, you ain't gotta work. There you go. Mm -hmm. What about husbands having female friends before meeting you? Uh, mm -hmm. Again, I don't believe in men and women having friendships. I don't believe in that. So if he's my husband, I don't care who she is. She's going to be dead to you once you marry me. Um, would I have a gay best friend? No, I would not. I wouldn't. Um, it's just not a, I don't know. I mean, I'm not opposed to it, I guess, if my friend was. But if he was a man and he was gay like a feminine man, no, I wouldn't. Um... My whale friend is married, but only likes to take me on trips every two months. Am I being used? Or is he a time waster? FYI, no trampoline action. He just enjoys your company. Miss Ashley, let me sip my tea. This is chai this evening that we're sipping. You going on trips every two months and you're not 
on the trampoline? What y'all doing? Y'all having Bible studies? Y'all playing Monopoly on your trips? <laughs> y'all over there playing a uh, twister? Um, sorry, let me stop acting. Let's see. Is he a time waster? Are you getting money? If you're getting money, um, then no, it's not a waste of time. When do you suggest traveling with a man? I don't. I mean, if, if you've already established a relationship, you guys are, you know, taking it to the next level, then yes. But traveling means you're going to have some PP time. Most likely. I'm not doing that. I don't travel. I do day trips. Like, I've gone on um, private jet excursions for the day. Then come back at night, things like that. But um, I'm not going to go no far place and we have to spend the night and all that. Mm-mm. No, ma'am. Do I really have as many sugar daddies as I claim? Um, I've never given a number. I said I have a lot. You know. Do I have as many as I claim? Is what I'm telling you, does that make sense to you? Does the information I give you help? Do you think I may be a little knowledgeable in the ways of sugar daddy and sugar baby relationships? Ask yourself that. And then ask me that question. There you go. How to get a rich POT to agree to getting STD screening before sex. I want to get pregnant by a rich dude eventually without getting a disease. You're celibate now. Um, you know, um, uh, ask him. You have to, that's your body. See, that's what I'm saying. That's your body, that's your life. Tell him, if you want to have some trampoline action with me, then you should, uh, we need to get tested. If you don't want to do that, then you can have the PP. Make your choice, big daddy. Make your choice. Thank you, Michelle. You see me trying? <laughs> Michelle's like, you're doing so good, Mickey. You see, I didn't, I didn't react. I didn't block nobody. I didn't react. Look at my growth, 2019. Ooh, ooh, 2019. Ooh, ooh, 2019. Ooh, mini twerk for myself. <laughs> yeah. So just open your mouth. When it comes to things like that, you have to open your mouth and tell him, this is what is going to happen or you're not going to be with me. Um, there you go. It's only the fourth day. Cheers. Should a woman be superior to a man when she talks to him? No. No. The women who are superior and talk down to men are the ones who have to get consultations with me because they can't keep a man. That is male repellent. You might as well spray male repellent all over you and um, be done with it because that's what's going to happen. Um, somebody said I'll block somebody soon. And you know it. <laughs> and you know it. Let's see. Have I ever exclusively dated one POT? No. Never. And I never will. I never will. <clears throat> Feminine Jess is worried about love. Do men fall in lust and love over time? Next question. If a POT tells you to tell him if I need anything, what should I ask him for to test him? Uh, well, he knows you need every, some things. So, you know, I, it depends on what his earnings are. There you go, Miss C. Noble. Is he wealthy? 
Is he wealthy? If he's wealthy, you can ask him for the world. If he's not, there won't be a whole lot that you can't ask him for because um, he won't um, be able to give it to you. Miss Veronica, too much information, baby. TMI. Um, how would I say balance work, school, and multiple sugar daddies? I wouldn't be working. I'm not going to school. I'm going to watch Michaela Pink's channel and get me some daddies. There's your balance. <laughs> Dropping out of school immediately. <laughs> Sorry. Was that, was that a little much? Sorry. Um, stay in school, baby. Do whatever. Um. Have I considered doing a video about dating multiple men and not getting caught? Oh, um, yeah. One day. When a man proposes you money on the first date, that means you are doing good, right? If I'm... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me... <clears throat> when a man proposes to give you money... On the first date, is that a good thing? No. He hates your guts. He doesn't like you. Cut him off. This man want to give you money on the first date? Heck no. Cut him off now. Don't ever call him no more. This is what you do. He want to give you money on the first date? You don't know what to do? Give him my number. Give him my number. 832... <laughs> Happy place, happy place, happy place. I'm in my happy place. Y'all, I need a prize for this. I need a prize. Uh, Mickey, when did you realize being faithful to men is a huge scam? You know what, that is <laughs> Jayla for the win. You know, I realized that being faithful, putting them first, putting pe other people first, being a giver, being a good girl, I realized that all of that was a scam when it was never reciprocated to me. It was just like a light bulb one day. I was like, no, I know good and well. I'm a good person. I didn't stop lying. I didn't stop, you know, I'm trying to be good. You know, I'm trying to be good. And I'm watching other people who are not being good prospering. The people who are doing wrong are winning. The people who are doing me wrong, they happy. And I'm over here sad and can't figure out why. I spent... A lot of money on your little Christmas gift and you sent me a card with a picture of you in it <laughs> a card with a pic with your picture in it and I'm supposed to feel happy about this Merry Christmas yeah <laughs> what oh, okay once I started to actually look at ooh, this is a word I feel it it's hot Ooh, I'm gonna start sweating once I figured out that um, people don't owe me reciprocity, people don't owe me respect, people don't owe me the same thing that I give them, it is up to me to accept or reject their behavior. Once that kind of sunk in for me, I was like, oh, so I'm going to meet people where they are. I'm going to meet people where they are. If you are a good friend to me, baby, I will drop any and everything for you. If you are a good man to me, I might not cheat a whole lot. Oh, hey, from Korea. I might not cheat a whole lot if you're a good man to me. If you pay attention to me and things like that, great. I can meet you where you are. But if it is not reciprocated, you get one time. 
one time because I'm a very giving and loving person. But if I recognize that um, you're not the same way, I'm done. At what age did I change from being nice? Um, this change was actually um, very recent. Well, no, 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 no. It wasn't. It's always been in me to be self-serving. It has always been in me to be self-serving. But I was taught, oh, it's not the way you're supposed to. It's not the way you should and things like that. So I said, well, I'll try being nice. I'm going to put them before me and blah, blah, blah. Once I realized that that wasn't getting me anywhere, then I changed. Um, yeah. What if he doesn't ask you out on a date but invites you to his party? Dates only. Go on dates only. That's it. Go on dates only. In a city where the elite and wealthy know each other, how would you suggest navigating the dating scene? The city is small as hell. Date everybody. Why not? They're going to do it. Date everybody. <laughs> Phoenix. Date everybody. Why not? I mean, um, they do it. Well, I don't care how small it is. If it's three people, two of them are men, you want to go out Tuesday and you go out Wednesday? Cool. Get to the bag get to the bag the women who are the most sought after think about it think about it logically let's pull our wigs down ladies and focus everybody do your wig like this everybody focus um if you are Sitting at home. Don't nobody in the city know you. You ain't never been out. Then you try to go out one Friday night. You get all jazzy and do your little side ponytail and put your little cute earrings on. <laughs> put your little earrings on and you going out. Nobody knows you. Nobody knows you. But you have Miss Tinkerbell over here. She fluttering. Talking to everybody, waving. She's speaking to people, giving them booby hugs. And hey, hey, Tommy. Hey, hey, boo, how's it going? Hey, you look so delicious. So great seeing you tonight. Where you been, sugar? How's it going? How's your mama? Who do you think is going to be the one that everybody wants? It's going to be Tinkerbell, little Tinky Tinky. Not little miss, oh, I want to have a good reputation and I'm going to wear my, you know, wear my dress up to here because I don't want them looking at me. Mm -mm. Can't see my neck, I'll get pregnant. If he sees my neck, I'm going to be pregnant. So let me pull my dress up. You got Tinkerbell over here getting to the bag, but you over here. You got on 30 inch eyelashes and you blinking so hard, you causing a windstorm. You causing a windstorm with them dang on eyelashes, blinking and blinking, trying to get somebody to come way across the room to talk to you with your neck, with your stuff all up here. But little Tink Tink over there like, Ooh, got all her skin out in 30 degree weather. She getting to the bag, getting to the bag. Think about it. Think about it. Who am I? I'm little Tink Tink. I don't care how small the city is. <sighs> Just saying. <laughs> Three piece suit, turtleneck, baby. Baby, you going hard with the look. <laughs> Thank you, Jordy J. Jordy Day says, you are appreciated. Why did that make me think of Tupac? When I was young, me and my mama had beef. 17 years old, kicked out on the street. The back at the top. Sorry. I was a Tupac fan in former, former life. 
Everybody disregard. <clears throat> Back to the questions. <laughs> Where is this going? Good grief. I know Jane. Jane Lopez said it's cold. Jane, wear your turtleneck, baby. Wear your turtleneck. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You wear your turtleneck. Lil Tink Tink gonna be over there with her shoulders and neck out. She might get bronchitis and have bronchitis next week. So she can't go out. So maybe next week will be your chance to show your stuff. But Jane, wear your turtleneck tonight so Lil Tink Tink can get her man. Cause she gonna get him while you over there. Just saying. <laughs> you gonna wear your turtleneck though, boo. Mm -hmm. I look like the dancing emoji. Ooh, I do, huh? My little dress. Thank you. Okay, so Miss Daisy, Daisy's and Lily says, what if you meet a guy and, he's, and his less rich friends act suspicious of you? Um, I don't know. I don't concern myself with other people. If they're not rich, I, I really don't care. They can act suspicious. What's the difference between slutty and sexy? Who really cares? People can say whatever they want to say. People can say whatever they want to say. If you are, um, people act like being assumed, I, well, let me not answer that question. Happy place, happy place, happy place. Happy place. Um, Mickey, if he thinks I'm a mess, what, I'm a mess, what should I do now? Is it too late to make a change? Yeah. What if after divorce and now almost 40, feeling not so confident about my look, I try to level up as much as I can with no success? So, Miss Sh Ooh, Miss Shn. Ooh, I'm sorry. I don't want to mess up your name. Shnazana. Shnazana says uh, you, do, you don't feel confident. So, you need to do things to make yourself confident. You need to switch your look up if you're not confident about your look. Yes, you can also get a consultation. I can help you with kind of tweaking your look a little bit to kind of jazz it back up. Um, but you need to do something to get yourself back in the, the game because, um, you know, your husband's probably, your ex-husband's on the trampoline right now. You know, while you're not feeling confident, he's on the trampoline with a little tinky tink. And you are still you know, sad about, oh, I'm divorced. Being divorced is good. <laughs> what? When I get divorced, when my divorce is final, I am throwing a party that won't wait. Throwing a party that won't wait, trust me. So, you know, you just change your thoughts about it. Um, change your thoughts about the divorce. Oh, you're in Europe. Well, thanks, little Shnazana. Thank you. She said so much love. Aw. You'll get your groove back, girl. Go get you, go get you a little, go to, uh, do y'all have the hood where you're at in Russia? If you have a hood, go to the hood. And we have the hood here. And their names are like um, Tremonte and Devante and um, Marquan and stuff. Go find you one of them and let him work the kinks out for you. Little Marquan and, you know, them, they can help you with all that. They shine them. They can help you get your groove back real quick. <clears throat> Do y'all have the hood in Russia? Just, I don't know. Let's see. Um, <laughs> what do you do about, what do I think about Wendy Williams? I actually spoke about that on a couple of videos ago. I actually gave my opinion on that. Thank you for my donations, Miss Veronica. She says she loves me, boo boo. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Veronica. She says she loves me. Um, oh, she's not Russian. She's in Belgium. Okay. Well, in Belgium, if y'all have, you know, I don't know if you just Google what the hood is and you'll see. Google the hood in the in United States 
and just go find you somebody to give you that, ooh, some of that, some of that hammer. We call it the hammer. We call it the good wood. Um, we call it the, <laughs> I'm acting up. I am really acting up. Stop it. Um, I know this is personal, but why are you getting divorced? Because I want to. Because I want to. I think divorces are great. You get a divorce, and you get a divorce, and you get a divorce, and you get a divorce. You, 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 everybody gets a divorce. That baby leg, yes, that baby arm. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. People are going to ask me until it's over. Yeah, Google BBC. That'll put something in your life this evening. <laughs> Stop it. Miss Shanaza doesn't need to do all that. Have any of you had a rich Arab? No, I haven't. Is he, is he Arabian? Is he Arabian? Girl, I don't be knowing any nationalities. I know I have some international ones, but I don't be knowing. Anything to watch out for when divorcing a Dusty? Uh-uh. He don't have nothing, girl. He don't have anything, so leave him. Somebody said he got a BWC. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the W ones. I've never seen a W one in real life. <laughs> Stop it. Um, so do you suggest you get some trampoline? Haven't had any since my ex six months ago. Girl, you can keep waiting. Get you some rich pee pee. Get you some rich trampoline. Mm -mm. Stop it, Jayla. Jayla, you better retract that. Stop it. What does it mean when a guy cooks for you? He's cheap. He's cheap. <laughs> Y'all so silly. Oh my goodness. You're a Virgo again? You're a Virgo. Miss Veronica, Miss Veronica, you about to be put on timeout, honey. Yeah, Rich PP ain't all that great. You're right. You're right, Emmy. Emmy. Rich PP is not the best PP, but, you know, at least you'll get something out of it. I'm just saying. You know, Rich PP is not all that great. We know, we know. When you go to the hood, you'll get the good PP, but then you'll have a wet butt and dry pocketbooks. And what do we say, church? <laughs> No. Mm -mm. Dusty men have AIDS. They have leprosy. They have AIDS. They have herpes. They have um, flesh-eating bacteria. They have monsters inside of me. Broke men have uh, Dr. Pimple Popper. They have all those uh, bumps on their backs broke men have a real big just imagine him with a real big pus filled sack of dust <laughs> <laughs> that'll help you not talk to him sorry guys this tea has got me energized does this have caffeine Perked me up a little bit. Goodness gracious. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Mickey, he thinks you're a gold digger. Tell him you're not. She said, Lord, give me all the rich PP, good or bad. Well, wonderful. Wonderful. Go get it, sea kelp. Should we move on from someone you were giving PP to? Yeah, he's not. If you want money, you should. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Dominica Mitchell. Miss Dominica Mitchell says she loves me. Well, I love you back, honey. Bad date story time. Ever thought you got a whale and just got disappointed? Heck no. Never. I, I'm serious about my bag. If, he, if I know he doesn't have money, no. Absolutely not. 
How to get him hooked without giving the pee pee. Mm -hmm. Come to the conference, Ray Ray. Little Ray Ray. Yeah, there you go, Jayla. How much should you charge? Y'all tell Tiana how much should, should she charge? I don't, I don't know. You're, you're dating Emmy. Emmy says, I'm dating a rich guy that I caught having sex with a cat. Then she says she's serious. So what you what you want me to do? Then this girl says, should she leave? Somebody please give me a real question. Give me a real question. Give me a real question. <laughs> no, I'm not leaving. I'm not gonna be emotional. I'm not gonna leave when people ask me stupid, asinine questions. I'm not going to be emotional. I'm going to get in my happy place and I'm going to continue my video because this is my channel. Emmy is welcome to stay. I'm pretty, Emmy may be on meds. Emmy may be on, you know, any number of things. So we don't know. We don't know what Emmy has going on in her life. Let Emmy live. If your man having sex with the cat, you go have sex with the dog. There you go. Animal kingdom. There you go. <clears throat> if y'all don't ask me questions, so I'm about to go. <laughs> yeah. My it, my wigs are always late. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Neela. This is Eva, everybody. Remember Eva? When I said I'm biracial, this is Eva. Yep. There I go. Once you're married and get what you want, can you be yourself 100%? Yep. Let it all hang out, honey. What is he going to do? Divorce you? I, I would, yeah. They do it, you know. Hey. How much should I charge women for a night of companionship? Zero. Mickey, video, did you talk about Wendy? Um, I forget. How to prepare for a good divorce? Just go file it. I mean, how to prepare for a good divorce? What do you mean? I don't, I don't get it. Shantae Ramos. Shantae Ramos. I am better. And that is some more of my business. Since I am currently involved in divorce proceedings, that is not something that I am at liberty to discuss. So if you would kindly mind your own business, I would totally appreciate it. My guy wants marriage. What am I doing wrong? Sorry. I'm back from my happy place. She said her guy wants marriage. What is she doing wrong? Everything. If he wants to marry you, you are doing everything wrong. Stop what you're doing. Get off this video. Drive to his house and go slap him in the face. Just go slap him in the face. Because you're doing everything wrong if he wants to marry you. So stop watching me and then just go somewhere and slap him in the face. Have I ever gotten my 
private mailbox set up so that if you want to send gifts, you can. Absolutely, Miss Ashley, I have. I have my private mailbox. Yes, ma'am. The devil working hard tonight. <laughs> so black, you so black, even I can't see you at night. Am I the only one that gets turned off when a guy refers to food as a meal? Are y'all, okay, are y'all, are y'all seeing my, the questions that I'm getting asked? And are you seeing how, how great I'm reacting to them? Oh, it's a compliment that I'm so black? Thanks. Thanks. Um, why are people still asking about that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, do I think it's a good investment to get cosmetic surgery with a credit card? Uh-huh. Sure do. Sure do. How do you get a man to invest in your business idea? You don't. You don't. You get him to invest in you, and then you use the money to invest in your business. Don't get a man to be a to help you be a better man. No. What to answer when people ask, are you wearing glasses? Say yes. Did I use oils to prevent stretch marks in pregnancy? You're seven weeks. <clears throat> you seven weeks, you got pregnant yesterday. You just got pregnant yesterday and you wanna know how to prevent them. Um, I did, I did. I used um, oil uh, throughout my pregnancies. Yes, bio oil, bio oil. <laughs> I'm 23. Should I be with a 60 year old man? He's got money. He wants to get married. Emmy, is this the cat, uh, the cat whisperer? Are you talking about Mr. Cat Whisperer? You want to know, should you get married to him? Hell yeah. You know what? Go marry him. Send me an invitation to the wedding. I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Go marry him. He having sex with cats. Next, he going to want you to have sex with the dog. I'm coming. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Marry him fast. Marry him tonight. Go to Vegas and get married tonight. I'm coming. I'm going to get my ticket after y'all book yours. If you're not sure if a guy is wealthy or not, do you have questions that you ask to determine his status? Miss Lola, ask him where he works. Ask him what he does, where, where he works. There you go. She says she's serious. She asking me to help because she don't know. You don't know if you should marry a man that's having sex with some cats. You don't know? I'm telling you. If you don't know whether or not you should marry him, marry him, girl. Yes. Yes. How to stop caring and allowing people to affect you mentally and emotionally. Miss Jessie Love, I'm still working on that one, boo. Still working on that one. Um, you know, because I care about certain things and people and stuff. So um, I get it, but uh, just stay focused on your goal. Have goals that you can focus on so that you can stay, um, you know, in the present moment. Oh, thank you, Miss Emmy. She says, thanks for your advice. I'm the sister she never had. You see what I'm saying? Now, if I'd have blocked, look at, look at God. If I'd have blocked this girl in the beginning, she might wouldn't have knew if she had the married the cat man or not. Because she said it's, she wouldn't have had this advice. Maybe her, something happened to her mama and she don't have no mama. See, y'all was wanting me to block that little girl, but she don't have nobody. Mm-hmm. She want to marry that man having sex with the cat. 
I think it's a general answer, like I work in technology, but not specific or not giving very much information. Yeah, you ask, you probe, Miss Lola, you probe. That's the main thing you need to know. You need to know where he works, period. There's nothing else you need to know about him. Nothing, nothing. Lovely bones, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. Thank you, lovely bones. Um, ask him, you need to find out where he works first, period. So find that out. Um, in your consultations, can you evaluate our looks and tell me what you need to improve on? Absolutely, Maria. I sure can. I sure can. I do that. I have one called an image consultation. Yep. Is he crazy for asking that or is he just want some trampoline? Mm, I don't know. You look young. How do you attract... I look young. How do I not attract attract pedophiles? You know what? Here's the thing. If you're a beautiful woman, you're going to attract all sorts of people. It's who you entertain that matters. You can attract all different types of men, but it's who you entertain that really matters. So is this basically a gold digging class 101? I'm sorry. Have we spoken about anything that pertains to gold digging today? Um, not sure. I, I don't. What do you think of the actress in Fifty Shades of Grey? I don't really know who that is. I only saw the, the movie one time. After that, I didn't know who she was. Sorry. He keeps trying to get me in his car and his house. Is he crazy or do you just, he just wants some trampoline? He probably wants some tra trampoline, which makes him a normal man, not a crazy man. Um, Miss Taylor, how do you get a consultation? Um, all of my contact info is listed below. You can send me a message and I can send you a link to set up your consultation. <clears throat> I really, you know, I'm not really invested in that, you know. Um, Miss Kamoli, she said, please tell Emmy not to marry the crazy cat guy. You know, if she does, she does, you know. Hey, Miss Nubian Mother, she says, thank you so much for your encouragement. You hired a personal trainer and you down 20 pounds. Ooh, ooh. Yes, indeed, Miss Nubian Mother. Over there being sexy. Yes. Congratulations and thank you for my donation. Little sexy mama. Congrats. That's good news. Yeah, if Emmy is actually considering marrying somebody who is doing things like that to a cat um there's nothing i can do to help her so um you know it's not gonna be my fault if she marries him I, i'm just some freaking lady on youtube <laughs> um yeah Oh, you lost 10 pounds? Go ahead, Miss Nifkabla. Hi from London. Hey, Miss Nona Mona. She says, his recent ex-wife with kids wants him back. Ooh, the tea, the tea. His ex-wife wants him back. Now he's confused and giving you pressure to see if you're the one. What to do? Nothing. She wants you back. Go on. You better go over there with her and them kids. When you let a man go, when you give him the freedom to go, then he knows you probably have other options and he's going to want to stay with you. Um, you know, he's going to want to stay with you. Come on now. So let him go. Let him go to the other lady. I don't see why not. He'll be back. Trust me. He left his, she's his ex-wife for a reason. So he'll be back for sure. Um... Daisy wants to know, 
she says, Daisy said, but she deleted it right quick. Wouldn't you marry a rich man that has sex with cats? She wants to know if I would do that. No, I wouldn't. Um, Miss Neela K says, am I still fasting? Yes, I am. Do you think you will get the weight back after you stop? Yeah, I will, but I think I'm going to continue to eat this way. I'm going to continue to eat this way. Um, you don't have a lot of money, but you work for a nonprofit. So it's honorable work. <clears throat> Conscious type person says, um, he works, but he doesn't have a lot of money and he's doing some honorable work. Should women be interested? Uh-uh. You know what's honorable? Bringing that money home to mama. That's what's honorable. No, it's not my fault you chose to work at a nonprofit. You need to work at a profit profit. You need to work at a for-profit organization and get you some money. A broke man is the worst thing in the world. If you don't have a lot of money and you have a penis, let me just put this in your life, little broke dusty pee-pees in my chat. If you're a man and you don't have money, you should castrate yourself. You should never um, have sex with another woman. You should never date a woman. You should discontinue living today. Well, it is harsh because listen, they feel the same way about an ugly woman. If you were ugly, men would not talk to you. Men would laugh at you. Men would say mean and horrible things about you. A broke man is just as useless as an ugly woman. Tell me I'm wrong. He wouldn't tr try to, you know, date no ugly woman. So... Whatever. If you're broke, you need to stay broke. But you need to be by yourself while you're broke. Don't bring anybody else into your brokenness. If you're going to be broke, stay broke. Stay over there, brokey. Don't bring your brokey disease over here. Think about it. Dr. Pimple. Dr. Pimple with the bubble of dust. No. No, no. Absolutely not. Mm-mm. It is what it is. Ain't nothing sad about it. It just is what it is. They're not going to date you if you was ugly. I promise you, if something happens and your house catches on fire and burns your whole face up, that little boo that you've been sacrificing for, you've been putting him, you know, oh, it's okay, baby. I know you don't have a lot of money, but we're going to get through this together. That little man that you like, oh, baby, I'll just pay for my ticket because I know your check was a little short this week. Oh, baby, you know what? I love you so much because you told me you love me. So we're going to be poor together. We're going to build this thing together. Let your face get caught in a fire tonight. Let your face get caught in a fire tonight and see how fast he don't leave you for somebody else. Let's go, Chai Tea. Do broke people deserve love? Yeah, it's a whole bunch of broke people in love right now. Of course they do. Why would you ask me a question like that, Seek Help? Because you want to set me up to be on the chopping block? You want to set me up to say, no, if you're broke, you don't deserve love at all. Come on now. Everybody deserves love. A hee hee hee, Seek Help. That, that shit is not funny. It's not funny at all. And you was trying to troll, but I called you out on it. Don't do that again. 
Anyway, um, of course, broke people need, let me adjust my damn wig for these people. Yes, they need love. Do broke men deserve love? No. Broke men do not deserve love at all. You need to be doing any and everything that you possibly can so that you will no longer be broke. If you are not, he should be so, he should be grinding so hard so that he is no longer broke that he don't have time for no loving. He don't have time to be uh, doing all that. He should be trying to get to the money. A broke man needs love from a broke woman and his mama. There you go. What do you do if he loses his job? He just lost his job. Then he need to lose you. If your man loses his job, he needs to lose you 30 minutes later. He got 30 minutes to come up with some more money. If he don't have more money in 30 minutes, he don't have a woman. No more. What you going to do with a broke man? Come on. Again, if your face was burnt off, he wouldn't be with you. There you go. He friend zoned you. What should you do? Move on, honey. There is no friend zone. He doesn't want your PP anymore. What if he cuts hair? Is that a bad job? Okay, y'all. I tried. I tried to stay on here a very long time. I did. I gave it a good go. Um, I think I was very successful tonight. I did not block one person. Um, I didn't cuss, I don't think. Um, I didn't go off on anybody. he cuts hair, is that a bad job? I'm in my happy place. I'm in my happy place. All we want is money. All you need is money. I got bears in the coop, busting out the hmm. I got mm in the hmm. Touch me, I'll shoot. Shake a look. Okay. Back from my happy place. In my opinion, is the process different if you are dating for marriage? No, Tristan, it's not. It's exactly the same. No, ma'am. Yes, if he is not the owner of the barbershop, then he is a Dusty. Most likely, if he's the owner of a barbershop, he's probably Dusty as well. I need him to own a barbershop, a pet store, several different properties. I need him to own my home. I need him to, um, you know, have a daycare. He needs to have more than just a barbershop. Absolutely. Absolutely. Are single dads dusties? Most likely not. They're very caring and nurturing. Any man that's a single dad is going to be a great target if he has money. If he has money. Of course, there are men who are celebrity barbers, as Miss Ray Baby has pointed out. And if he is making $6,000 a haircut, of course, of course, you'd want to date him. If he's not making a substantial living as a barber, he's a dusty. If he's a barber, he most likely has a dusty mentality. He's not, whatever, I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm sorry, I can't. 
I can't keep talking about barbers and people licking cats. I, Miss Ebree says, before, before, she says, you said before to know he has money before you go on the first date. So when you first meet them, do you ask about their job? I asked that in the first set of phone conversations. Yes. Yes, you can eliminate a lot of headache if you ask that question up front, because if you find out he doesn't have a great job, you can stop talking to him and not waste your time. There you go. Been dating a man for over a month and he's starting to get cheaper during the dates. Level up and see if I can get more or just dump him right now. You've probably had some trampoline activities with him, so you should cut your losses and move on. There you go. Cut your losses and move on. Your neighbor used to work at D&G, now set up his own shop. He's rich. I mean, it happens. It happens. But should you wait around until he gets rich? Uh-uh. I need to wait until after he's already rich. If he's already rich, then great. Oh, she said she hasn't had sex with him at all, and he's not giving her any money. Um, and it's been a month? You should probably start asking him for some. Yeah, I would. Is cooking a good genu a good feminine hobby? Um, yeah, it's very feminine. Should you do it? No. How do you hide that you're wanting money when he asks you up front, what are you looking for? Um, well, you don't say it. You don't come right out and say it. You make up something other than that um, to say. Okay, the subject of the video. Let's sum it up so I can go. Okay. A scheduled live in the FB group would be great. I imagine so, Miss Brittany. Mm -hmm. It would. Why don't you do one, Miss Brittany? What have you got going on, girly? Um... So common denominator. Let's get to that. The common denominator is you. If you are having bad relationships, if you are having bad situations at work, if you are having, um, you know, if nobody is treating you properly and you continue to have the same circumstances occur with different people year after year, week after week, time after time. Um, oh, hold on. Hold on. Mr. Conscious type person, Mr. I work for a nonprofit. Should women love me? Oh, I said I'm not gonna be reactionary. <laughs> so he says, Michaela is a shallow gold digger. Check. And I'm gonna die in the poorhouse. You think? Anyway. Anyway, he will not be blocked because you know why? He's gonna keep tuning in. Anyway, so if you are having, if you don't like black men, if you don't like black women, if you don't like your job, if you don't like white women, if you don't get along with um, this set of people or that set of people or whatever, if you don't get along with these certain people and these situations occur and happen to you over and over and over again, then you should be... Um, you, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I have to block Mr. Um, no, I'm not going to block him because when people come back and read the comments, it's going to be funny. So let's just put him in a timeout, sir. There you go. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, the, um, if you keep having these circumstances happen over and over again, if you keep attracting dusty men, you keep entertaining them, and then you keep wondering why you can't secure the bag. If you keep 
having all these circumstances happen over and over, it's because you are the common denominator. You are. When you change yourself, you will change your life. You will change your circumstances. You will change what happens to you once you figure that out. Change yourself and your whole circumstances will change, period. That's it. So, let's talk about announcements. Let's talk about announcements. Um, the conference is soon fast approaching. I am, um, next week I'm going to start finalizing um, all of the arrangements to receive all of my wonderful, beautiful guests when you all arrive. Um, I thank you so much for your support. I can't wait um, for it to meet each and every one of you. Um, there is still room and space available. So um, yeah, if you are still interested in that, let me know. Um, we are fast approaching the 10,000 mark for subscribers. Um, I believe we're close to 9,300. So um, we will be, you know, um, I will be traveling to a city near you to visit one of you lovely ladies and um, help you level up in person. So that's going to be fun once we hit the 10,000 subscriber mark. Um, Miss NFL information about the conference is linked below the video if you would like that information It is a paid conference and it is not cheap at this point. The price has gone up So if you did not get your ticket before December 31st, the ticket has gone up It was worth the price before and it will certainly be the worth the price after um, so yes, it is paid. If you would like information about the group, hit me up on Facebook and I can help you get into the group. It is a paid group on Facebook, so it is not free. Um, but I can help you if you want information about the group. If you'd like consultations, I can help you with those as well. I do those, um, normally, uh, Monday through Friday, blah, 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 blah. So... Hand clap for me. Woo! I lasted through the video. I think I did good, y'all. I think I did good. We did good, girls. I think I did good. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging in there. Thanks for the encouragement. Thanks for hanging in there while I sit in my happy places. Um, you guys are great. <laughs> you guys are great. And I'm Michaela Pink. And that's what I think. Are y'all going to get your holy Bibles for Sunday? Don't forget, we will have Sunday worship here on my channel. 89 likes. It's 300 and some people on here. Don't forget to like the video. Like the video. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell notification so you can get notified whenever I um, post a video. Most of them are live. I think I'm going to start recording some videos and having them um, and posting them on here. Save pastor some, uh, some time and headache and things like that. So I'm probably gonna start recording and posting them here. But thank you guys so much. I will see you guys on Sunday. And um, I appreciate you. So I'm Michaela Pink and that's what I think. Bye. I'm on here. See ya.